to sleep with another dream Things ain't cooking in my kitchen Strange affliction wash over me Julius Caesar, Roman Empire Couldn't conquer the blue sky Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing a classic crowded house, the weather with you, really positive song, easy to play. Kind of takes me back when I was too young to be in bars and watching a guitar duo back then, watching them play and really enjoying it back then and kind of forgotten about it until now. And I thought, yeah, well, it's a great tune to play, especially if you've got a buddy to play with to do the alternative parts. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. So I'll get to the chords and the rhythm in a second, but most of the time people want to learn this intro. So the trick here really is to play along the B string, but make sure you don't touch that top E string so it rings out, right? So it's like five, three, five, seven, eight, five, three, oh, three, two, two, oh. Three, oh, oh. So it's just going across to the the G string at the second fret. Open E, open G. The second half of it, five. That little hammer on three to five, and that's literally up the scale. Okay, five, five, seven, eight. Back down to three. I guess I'm going two to, on the G string, two to four, or two, and then slide in, continue to slide on the G string to six, and I'm just putting a double stop down there at the fifth fret. Okay, so slowly. So a quick look at the chords, really straightforward chords. E minor seven to A sus four. See, I've got my third finger on the third fret on the B string, and I play an E minor. Just move those two fingers over, nice and easy. Now the rhythm, you can see I'm just brushing across down, up, down, okay. And there's a couple of polyrhythms going on with the multiple guitars. So there's no like strict 
rhythm, as long as you get the correct feel, okay? So to start off with, you know, kind of got that kind of Oasis-y feel, right? Even though it was way before Oasis. So just brushing across and trying to find that feel. Up, up is the accent there. Da, 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 da. Up, up. Da, 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 da. Up, up. Back to E. Da, 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 da. Up, up. Da, 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 da. Up, up. And sometimes you see me dropping down like from a sus4 to an A to a sus2, okay? That's just, you know, as I'm playing along, improvising. So, like the bridge, then we go to D minor, really simple. Things ain't cooking in my kitchen. Okay, you can use the same technique there. F. You can use the F there if you can't do the bar. The second time around, F. G. That's it, that's the verse and the bridge. Then it's just the chorus, everywhere you go. So we go from an A sus4 to an A7 sus4, okay? So normal A7, okay? But then you can raise the B string, second fret to the third fret, okay? Make sure you don't play the bottom E here. Everywhere you go, always take the D. Second time round, I do an F sharp over D. Adds a bit of interest, just put my thumb over there, you don't have to do that. Third time, G. F sharp over D. Okay, back to G. A sus4. Back to the verse. Now the last chorus, same thing except the end. When you come to the G, F sharp over D, goes down to E, the weather, back to G, the weather, the weather with you. That's really important finishing off, okay? So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, I do not get paid for these lessons due to copyright. However, I've set up a PayPal donation button over on my website and any loose change is massively appreciated. You can find a newsletter over there as well. I do monthly and if you'd like to send me a request, hit me up over on Instagram. Look forward to seeing you guys the same time next week. Enjoy.